Hi everyone. Now for the last episode of Spiritual Superpowers for 2020, we're going to do a little recap on the episode so far. That's right. If you're new to our channel, I'm Dawn. This is Karen. And this is a channel where we discuss the journeys that we've been on, as well as including interviews of the people who have helped us along our way. Now, if this is the first time you've seen our videos, be sure to go back and have a look at the previous ones we've recorded for 2020. And if you're curious to know what those are, we're going to go over them today. And we also have a third. This is Betty. So it's Karen and Dawn and Betty today. <laughs> All right, so it's been fun so far. We've learned a lot. We've learned a lot, especially when it comes to filming. Video <laughs> editing yes. and sound editing. Yes, yes. So forgive us. We This was our practice round, we'll say. And I feel like we've come a long way, and hopefully the sound will be a little bit better. Better going forward. <laughs> yes, yes, definitely. <laughs> but that being said, I think the content was pretty good. Oh, definitely. Yeah. yeah. And I, I would love to hear what everyone thinks about our content. Um, and then, of course, what your favorite episodes were, what you learned, and maybe some of the things that you might be interested in learning more about. Um, some of the, the topics that we did cover were past life regression. We actually have three videos on our YouTube channel for that. Uh, we've got the interview with Angela Solazero and her and I discussing my past life regression that I did with her. Mm -hmm. And then we have the unedited Ooh. version where yeah. we actually no. show the entire interview no. with her. And we also go over the, our debriefing where I talk about each individual life. And I'll tell you, if you haven't seen it, I was a hooker. <laughs> <laughs> and a lot of other things. And a lot of other things. But yeah, I was, I was a... I was a prostitute. <laughs> no. And then we got into some soul alignment sessions with Marilyn Penny. Yeah, and this was something that neither one of us had done. It was interesting because she went into our past lives to discover what past lives were causing us blocks in the current life. Right. As well as some of our experiences in our current life. Oh. That th also ha created blocks. Yes. Yeah. And then it we were given 25 days, sorry, 21 days. Yes of um, reading reading and setting intention and doing clearing work so our homework and to then... try to resolve the blocks exactly and I definitely felt a difference did you feel I, a difference? oh I definitely felt a difference yeah. yeah 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 it was definitely good I highly recommend it because even we were talking your your husband is a well-known Olympic coach and, and he did one too he did one too and it's interesting because if if someone is a, a high high end athlete, world class, class athlete, or even you know a CEO or someone in you know in that one percent, this could actually free up a lot of blocks that makes yeah. their their work a little bit easier or their success a little bit easier. Yeah, um, you never know where this this could take you. So I definitely recommend yeah. doing a soul realignment. With and his me. was really interesting too. And it was so bang on. And it was, I think, really what he needed. I think you and I felt the same with ours, but it was interesting to see that the same thing happened with him. And she really is so accurate. Yeah. And <laughs> as you'll see in my episode, I'm like, there's no hiding here. And it's so <laughs> yeah. true. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, she brings up things that, uh, that, yeah, you, you, might not necessarily want to be on camera before. <laughs> yeah. but yeah we are here to share it all with you <laughs> yeah and then you know we we talked about how we met and the spiritual kind of intersections that were the same for the both of us and and um i hope you guys found that interesting because we really found it interesting in terms of our development and the challenges and you know, so it was applying the spiritual things that we learned to, you know, real life situations. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. And because Karen and I tried so many um, different modalities or tools, um, we were on the same journey and really on the same path, yeah. but different things worked for each one of us individually. And that's what we hope to bring to our audience to mm -hmm. showcase these different modalities. And then hopefully one of them re resonates with you or you learn something new that you find very interesting and want to try yourself. Yeah. Yeah. And we're going to have more episodes coming uh, talking about what Karen and I have been through over the last few years. So mm -hmm. um, you'll get a little bit more insight into our stories as well. Yeah. And then we went to the Himalayan healing 
Salt Cave and Spa, mm -hmm. and that was that was wonderful. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness, that was heavenly. It was just so relaxing, and you got to taste salt. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you got to see what it was like. But I, I, I am gonna go back. I am too. I just haven't had time, but <laughs> yeah. we'll definitely be back. For yeah, sure. we're gonna go back. I want to try the guided meditation hour because we did the binarial beat. Yes. Meditation. Oh, yeah. The guided yeah. meditation yeah. would be good. So and, that try. and a treatment mm -hmm. would be good. Yes. Oh, my goodness. I think we have a to go back for a treatment. And, yes, definitely. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. And then we met Tina, and Tina um, did an Akashic record reading, reading for, on you, yes. as well as a tarot reading. Yes. Yeah. So that, that, that was great. They were both very helpful in terms of giving me some direction going forward into 2021 and who doesn't need some direction <laughs> after this past year absolutely and for me it's been two years now of like crazy stuff mm -hmm. so, yeah, so those treatments really provide a lot of insight and direction yeah and what do you think betty <laughs> what do you think should we have your akashic records read <laughs> and that reminds me, you can go into Akashic Records for pets. It's something that I'm working with as an animal communicator mm -hmm. right now. And then we also talked about pendulums. Mm -hmm. um, we launched the season with um, using the pendulum to talk about this tiny house mm -hmm. and what you know you should use it for, which has now become a, our YouTube filming set. <laughs> <laughs> which is great with which I is great it. yes yeah and um but then we you know took a, a couple of friends to a metaphysical shop and we talked about you know picking tools and how to use them and that was i hope you guys enjoyed that i think so I, we got a lot of comments on that one mm -hmm. and it seems like a lot of people were really curious about what these tools are but they just don't know how to use them right. so that really gave them a step-by-step -step process on how to pick how to clear how to charge and how to use. Yeah, and we even had one comment of a, a woman who bought a pendulum 20 years ago and it sat in a drawer because she didn't know how to use it, but she was drawn to it 20 years ago okay. and now she's just starting to use it, which is very cool. Yeah, I yeah. love that. Yeah, yeah, I'm glad she held on to it. <laughs> yeah. And then we finished out the year with our spiritual mentor, Marianne Kennedy, and that was very exciting for us mm -hmm. because we were going in that direction in terms of, you know, bringing the spiritual aspect in. We we already did to some respect, but when we met her, it really took off. Oh, yeah. I I had never considered mediumship before, and that opened up a whole new world. And then the soul coaching, coaching yes. oh my goodness, that was pivotal for me, mm -hmm. for the changes that I, was, that I made um, in the last year and a bit. So, and then just having her as, as a mentor, she is so insightful, so knowledgeable, and she's just always there for her entire, you know, huge group of students that she has and followers. Mm -hmm. And she's just such a great support. Mm -hmm. I was so happy to have her on. And then you guys could actually see who we keep mm -hmm. talking yeah. about in all these episodes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So let's talk about what we have planned for 2021. Yeah. Well, we're going to start off yeah. with some more episodes with Marianne. And we uh, we're going to talk about signs from the universe, which is, you know, really a big reason why we started this YouTube channel mm -hmm. is because people were asking us. Um, so we're excited about that one. We're going to talk about the show that uh, she started called Ghosts of Dufferin County. Mm -hmm. uh, talk about that. And we have Marilyn Penny coming back. Uh, she's the one that did our soul realignment. And she's going to talk about doing a property clearing mm -hmm. so you can kind of clear the blocks from yourself but you also have to clear the blocks from your space so she's going to talk a little bit about that yeah i like how she said that it's one thing if you like originally you're drawn to a space for a certain reason but if you are working on your yourself and you're you have a vibrational change the the land or the dwelling itself might need that shift as well and that's Mm -hmm. um, something that she provides with the with the the clearing right yeah and then of course we haven't really talked about our own spiritual superpowers so i think we have episodes coming up we have some episodes on reiki mm -hmm. and that's one of your spiritual superpowers mm -hmm. 
know we have some episodes on animal communication, yes. which is one of my spiritual superpowers. Mm -hmm. yeah. And even chakra balancing, chakra which we balancing. both do. And we'll have um, an energy clearing episode where I take you through and show you how to do some psychic investigating. Yeah, another of Dawn's mm -hmm. spiritual superpowers. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then we also interview um, some professionals who are in the psychotherapy and coaching realm. Um, we have a very successful businesswoman who sold her business and is now doing coaching, but she really incorporates her practice um, or she incorporates her coaching practice with a lot of intuitive work and meditation, which I think is very unique. And we have a psychotherapist who um, really believes in the benefit of tuning into that intuition and coming from a place of love and and authenticity. So I'm excited to see how they, what tools they use in their practice to right. encourage people to tap into their spirituality. What we're seeing with those people in particular is that traditional therapy or life coaching is really starting to bring the, the spiritual aspect in. And that spiritual superpowers are becoming more mainstream. Mm -hmm. Which is great. Yeah. Yeah. So... So anyway, so we're very excited about yeah. this upcoming season. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and yeah. hopefully you are as well. So like I mentioned in the beginning, if this is your first time meeting us, thank you so much for joining us. And remember to go back and take a look at those episodes. We'll include some links down below. And if you enjoyed this episode, give us a like. Possibly consider subscribing or hitting the little bell next to it so you get notified of when we get new episodes. And stay tuned for our season in 2021. All right. Bye-bye, everyone.